I am the gate. If anyone enters through me, he will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it in all its fullness. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. John 10, 9. There is no other way to the kingdom of heaven but by you, Jesus. You are the gate. You are heaven. You are God. To deny you is to deny forgiveness of sins and means we refuse to acknowledge that we are sinful and were even born in sin. That only you can help us overcome sin and become new creatures. Only by living in you do we become new creatures. No traditions kept by men, no rituals or anything else can get man into heaven. There is no other gate. You said so yourself, Lord. Help us to fully understand what you mean to us. How your blood washes us clean from sin and how your Holy Spirit guides us and helps us through this world. Your Holy Spirit leads us, and if anyone hasn't encountered your Holy Spirit yet, then we pray now, Father, that you, by your grace and love, will pour out your Spirit upon all flesh. Lord, let your children feel your Spirit and become acutely aware of your presence. There is power given to us by your Holy Spirit. And if we live lives restricted, and limited to the physical and material, we lose out on this tremendous power available to us. Just a closer walk with thee. That is all we need, Lord. Father, Satan is also offering power and strength, but it's all fake. It's all just an evil copy of your righteous gifts that lead to eternal life. Only his fake powers lead to eternal damnation. Let us not be fooled by him into thinking that we are or can be like you, Lord God. We are the sheep and you are our shepherd. In this world we need you to get by. We cannot roam the pastures on our own. That is where the wolf lies in waiting. We need you. Our strength and our power lies in you, only in you. Father, take the hand of each one of us to seek your face with true and committed hearts. Lord, we are weak, but you are strong. We fail, but you succeed. You raise us up. You are our hope and our fortress. You go before us, and we nothing to fear. The world may reject us. We care not because they rejected you first. This world belongs to the prince of lies and deceit, but we belong to you, the king of righteousness, creator of everything, Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, eternal God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your love and for Jesus. In his holy and almighty name we pray. Amen.